A Womanizer's Guide to Axiom, Chapter 3. It had been above average. Her moans of pleasure had been the right way to fall asleep. He awoke in the middle of the night in bed next to the woman's naked body. Adequate though she had been, her body was a picture of perfection. Titus watched her for a second, then logged the details into his mental collection before rolling quietly out of bed and dressing. It was common sense to not overstay at the scene of a crime. The estate was a larger-than-average two-floor home. The master bedroom that they occupied was surrounded by a large open windows that exited onto the clay tile roofing on the larger first floor. Titus admired the view before turning to use the master bath one last time. After relieving himself, he planned to make his exit when he heard a creak of the floorboards in the bedroom, like that of soft footsteps on the old wood floor. Titus frowned as he finished tucking his shirt in. He was certain that Gael was asleep. Carefully, he pulled out his small pistol. He hated thinking about it, but sometimes husbands got these odd notions of ownership when it came to their wives. Better to be prepared. The thought that killing the leader of this spit of a rock would possibly tank the deal never really entered his head. Carefully, he eased the door open. Peeking through the door, he was surprised. Titus laid eyes on the lead singer of the band from the tavern. The woman had expertly lifted Gale's only remaining piece of clothing, the golden amulet from around her neck. He tried to push the door open a bit more, but these island hinges got rusty fast from all the salt water. The door creaked, and the thief spun a pistol in hand. With that, the two ended up in a pistols-ready standoff. The singer scowled. What in the name of Mazant are you doing here? Her whisper was as close to a yell as it could be. Gael did not stir. The wine had done a number on her. Titus's eyebrows shot up to the roof. I think a better question is why are you stealing jewelry right off her neck? The band gig not paying well enough? His whisper was casual. Even as he tried to figure out which windows he could dive through efficiently, the two circled slightly. Well, that is, well, a fair question, she stumbled, unable to counter, so she changed the subject. Last time I checked, she was married to someone other than you. What kind of guy beds the wife of the mayor he just did a deal with? Somehow Gael had still not woken up. In fact, she had begun to snore. I think you misunderstand the situation. She spent most of the evening seducing me. I didn't want to jeopardize the lucrative business deal by disappointing the wife of the mayor. Family tensions can really affect negotiations. His whisper stayed quiet, even as they kept weary eyes on each other. Besides, you still haven't answered my question. Put it down, and we can both walk away. She scoffed at that. Yeah, sure. I'm positive if the mayor walked in right now, he would be super thankful that you relieved her tensions. She air-quoted with her free hand when saying the word tensions. A bureaucrat like you, she tested, bet you wouldn't hit the broad side of a barn. Hate to tell you, pretty boy, but I have worked too hard for this amulet to drop it because a dandy fop like you told me to. Titus flashed a cheeky grin. He'll note that she appears to have no complaints. He left his grin in place. Don't worry, love. My aim is fine. You don't survive long if you can't walk away from a duel now and then. Besides, I'd be more worried about that pirate her husband was talking to when we left the party. A loud knock started both of them at the bedchamber door. Dear, I'm sorry to wake you, but there's one final piece of business. We must... Gavin stopped talking as he swung the door open and saw the two pointing guns at each other. Titus? What are you... He also saw his naked wife snoring on the bed, and he trailed off as his wine-soaked brain did the calculations. The pirate woman from the bar with the eye patch covered in guns, stood behind him. 
She tensed as her eyes centered on the amulet in the thief's hand. Oi, she has the amulet! She screamed, pushing past Gavin. He slept with my wife! Gavin roared, going for his gun. Titus had a frozen moment to think that maybe, just maybe, he could have handled this a bit better. This has been Chapter 3 of A Womanizer's Guide to Axiom. Written by myself, Zachariah Van Sliders, and Mr. Mark Bell. All voice work for Titus was done by Mark Bell. This is based on a role-playing game playthrough that myself and Mark Bell played some time ago. All narrations are done by myself, Zachariah Van Sliders. And we'd like to give a special thanks to Wizards Respite for hosting the text version of this on his site, as well as embedding our video of it on the same web page. You can, of course, check out any previous narrations on Old Man Gaming. There is a playlist there so that you can catch up from the very beginning. Or you could read them all right here on wizardsrespite.com. We'll be back next week with a new chapter. Thank you very much.